How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman Dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean By providence impoverished and squalor Grow up to be a hero and a scholar the ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter by being a self-starter by 14 they placed him in charge of a trading charter and every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up inside he was longing for something to be a part of the brother was ready to beg steal borrow or barter then a hurricane came and devastation rained our man saw his future drip dripping down the drain put a pencil to his temple connected to his brain and he wrote his first refrain a testament to his pain well the word got around they said this kid is insane man took a book collection just to send him to the mainland get your education don't forget from whence you came and the world's gonna know your name what's your name man alexander hamilton my name is alexander hamilton and there's a million things i haven't done but just you wait, just you wait. When he was ten, his father split, full of it, dead, ridden. Two years later, see Alex and his mother bed, ridden, half dead, sitting in their own sick, the scent thick. And Alex got better, but his mother wiped quick. Moved in with a cousin, the cousin committed suicide, left him with nothing but ruined pride, something new inside a boy saying, Alex, you got a thing for yourself. He started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf. But there would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead and destitute without a cent or restitution. Started working, working for his late mother's landlord, trading sugar cane and rum and all the things he can't afford to stand for. Damn fool that shot him. There's a man.